people with us the prayer. But at this time, I ask that you welcome at the platform Justice of the Peace, Dr. Pauline Foster. Moderator, Reverend Camille, and all ministers that are present. His Worship the Mayor and Chairman of the Board of Troy High School, Mr. Councillor Colin Gacher, Mrs. Dalrymple Philibert, Member of Parliament and Speaker of the House in her absence, Justice Hugh Grant, President of the Lay Magistrates. Association. Mrs. Steen Miller, Acting Principal of the Albertown High School. Mr. Eddie White, Principal of the Troy High School, and all the teachers and students, and everyone here, the community who are grieving. I usually say, I greet you well, and I do greet you well, but before I, I give those tips for grieving, I want to say to you, it cannot be business as usual. If your cousin come from town and you know they do something, and in with community, you're an accessory to murder because they're coming here to kill and to steal. If your brother come in and blood upon them clothes and you go and you watch it, you is a murderer and blood is on your shoulders. If I die tonight because I'm speaking out, it is okay because it's time for us to tear off the bandage of the sores that we are having in South Trelawney. If you are a man and you're touching up somebody and they say no and you want to block the place and rape them, you're going to be a murderer. Because when you feel you can't get it, and you have to force people, you are a murderer. Because if the, even if the person, the young person don't die, you have killed their spirit. And it is time that the church ball out. And it is time that the community ball out. And it is the time that the mothers and the fathers look on the children. And if you're poor in slackness, I hope you see Jamelia face every time you look by your picnic. We don't have time for foolishness anymore. We don't have time for play play and lay lay anymore. If you go and you know say the police and look for somebody and you can't food to get them, you is an accessory to murder. I wasn't called to preach. I am called to the ministry, but I wasn't called to preach. But what I beg God for do is for stop and put guilt and make people can't eat and make people can't sleep. Because if you live near and you say you know see nothing, you is accessory to murder. Yes. The donation for the memorial and the monument for Jamelia, Mr. Fabian Davis, who will be the candidate for the People's National Party, he asked me to tell you that he will be donating $50,000 also. And Mrs. Angela Brown Burke, who is a mentor to me, she will be donating $25 thousand dollars she's the chairman of the people's national party but it's not about politics i just want to tell you who she was she'll be donating twenty five thousand dollars and my husband dr john foster grant and myself 
we'll also be donating $50,000. And I know the mayor has got to um, donate a million. <laughs> yes. I hear somebody right beside me say, yes, um, Mr. Mayor, some people have some high hopes for you, and they believe you know they say it's me mia and him will. All right. All right. All right. So when somebody dies among us, we never want anybody to leave. But when somebody dies and it is as gruesome and as senseless as this wicked act. It makes matters even worse.